Good morning, grade two. I miss you all so much. Today's lesson is make bar graph. I hope you like it. So, how can we make a bar graph? We can make a bar graph from some information that we already have or by making a survey and collecting the information from people and representing it through a bar graph chart. So, this is an example on how to make a bar graph. In this example, the information or the data is already written for us. Here is the information we are going to use. And here we have the bar graph chart that we should complete. Let's read the information. Dexter asked his classmates which pizza topping is their favorite. Four classmates choose peppers. Seven classmates choose meat. Five classmates choose mushrooms. Two classmates choose olives. Now, let's go and complete the bar graph table. We are going to start by the table title. The table title will be Favorite Pizza Toppings. And on the left side, we are going to write toppings. And down here, we are going to write the number of students. Since we finished the label of the table, let's start shading the bars. We will shade the bar graph according to the information we got from the example. First bar, peppers. Four classmates choose peppers. So we will color the bar till the number four. Then meat. Seven classmates choose meat. So we will color the bar graph till the number seven. The next one is mushrooms. Five classmates voted for mushrooms. So we will stop at the number five. And the last one, olives, two voted for it. We will color the bar graph till we reach the number two. After finishing the bar graph table, we will answer the questions. Let's start by number one. Which topping did most classmates choose? We will look at the bar graph to know it's the red bar because it's the longest. So the answer is meat. Second question, how many classmates choose mushrooms and peppers? And is a keyword for plus. So we will add the number of peppers plus the number of mushrooms. The answer will be four plus five equal nine. Last question. How many more students choose meat than olives? As we all know, than is a keyword for minus. So we will write the number of meat minus the number of olives. The answer will be 7 minus 2 equal 5. This is the end of the lesson. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, write it in the comments. Thank you and bye-bye.